All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to Felt Chat. We have a week off last week for various reasons, and this week we're. I'm sure you've already read the title. I don't know exactly what I'm going to phrase it at as yet, but it's going to be some variation on the phrase "death." Partially clickbait, partially because that's what we're going to talk about. Because that's definitely been on the mind lately for me for several reasons. Quick talk about the squad before we get too in depth. It's just gonna be Zhao Zhongli, Albedo Jean. They're kind of standard, using standard stuff. But if you don't know this series, I am Felt. Nice to meet you. Hope you sub, follow, like, subscribe, all that crap. And this is just a series where I talk about stuff that's on my mind. It's usually weekly, but depending on the week, I'll sometimes skip a week here or there. That's gonna be my new outlook going forward. So I was thinking trying to make it perma weekly. But sometimes I just don't have enough to talk about. And this past week had enough stuff go down and hit. And yeah, because of that, this is just going to be a wild one. So, first and foremost, what's been going on with me? I finished Nier Automata. What made me want to stop existing for a bit. Also, Jean nearly died because such is this game sometimes. Sorry, not Jean. Jean nearly died because that's this game at times. But such is life. I'll be alright. But yeah, I beat Nier. That made me really sad and made me take a couple days off streaming. And then I found out that Kentaro Mura died. Oh, sorry, Kentaro Mura. I have such a hard time saying his name. I don't know if it's just because the way his name is or just anything, but I always have a really hard time saying his name. He was the author of one of my favorite mangas, Berserk. He's a mangaka. To put it specifically and be polite to him. Um, he passed away on the 6th of March, apparently, but the news only broke very recently. So, that was quite sad. Because Berserk is one of my favorite series of all time. Darkness included, you know. And um honestly it was just it was really surprising and upsetting because we don't know by we I mean the, the manga anime community at large that enjoys Berserk doesn't know what's going to happen. To the series. We don't know if it's ever going to get finished or if we're going to get notes on how it was going to finish or if it's just done and over. And it's really sad because of that. And it's also really sad because he was only 54. He was <sighs> way too young. Passing away from an aortic dissection, according to the press releases. You know, I'd be like, holy crap, we're getting... We're getting real dark and in there immediately. Yeah, yeah we are. That's um, that's how this series goes sometimes. It's quite sad. And that affected me quite a bit because it just kind of came out of nowhere. It wasn't something that I was expecting or that I feel like the manga and anime community at large were expecting. People knew that his overall health was kind of declining. But... They didn't realize how, apparently, how far it was already gone, you know? And this is quite sad because of that. I wish all the best for all the people in his life that knew him and all that. And hopefully everything, um... Hopefully nothing too bad is going on with the people he knew, right? Hopefully they can move on in a good way and be appreciative of the time he was here with us, right? But that brings me to another thing that honestly I think hit me harder than that is. If you watchers don't know, I'm a massive fan of Smite and its esports scene. I've been watching Smite esports since I don't even know when, but a very, very long time. I want to say Season 2 is when I started, but I also took quite a bit of time off at certain points. Because, you know, sometimes that just happens, you just want to take time away. And you just want to... not watch something. 
Well, during my time away, a new caster had to join the casting team for the Smite League, and his name was John Finch. And he was an incredible caster who I think almost put some of the other casters to shame on occasion. He was really, really good at what he did. And this past week we found out he passed away at the age of 28. Man, if Kentaro passing as young as 54 wasn't something that was going to phase me. John only being 28 and passing definitely hit me as well. Hit me real hard out of nowhere, especially because he was such a light. If that makes sense, he was always just a happy person. Always making people laugh, always being a joy to witness, either in their behind the scenes stuff or the, his on camera stuff casting. He was always a joy to behold, for lack of a better term. And there was so many, many things going around of people just sharing their great experiences with him. And it was really sad to watch because he's just gone way too soon. And it's sad, but that's life, right? Sometimes that happens, which is what we're talking about here. So, now you've seen the backstory, slash, heard the backstory on what's been going on in my head of processing and emotionally dealing with the deaths of what were basically two generally prominent figures, even if I didn't personally know them. One being the source of a lot of joy for me from a manga point of view, even the, through the darkness of his source material, and the other providing joy through watching my favorite esport and bringing a unique and incredible perspective to it. Man, it's got me all up in my own head. That's what happens sometimes, right? When you, uh, when you watch people pass away way too young, your head can immediately start going, wow, they had such an impact. Well, will I make that impact? And that's somewhere my head's been going in a uh, weirdly selfish way. And it's kind of okay to be selfish and worry about yourself in times like this. I feel like people try and um, I'm trying to think of the right way to phrase this. I feel like it's completely fine for people to want to focus on themselves when they hear about the passing of people that they were influenced by and think, oh, okay, well, that's incredibly sad. I wanted to somewhat be like them, right? I wanted to be a titan in my industry. I wanted to be a person that everyone cared for deeply. Am I, am I on that path? Am I... My, on my way to being someone like them and sometimes the answer is no and for me I think it's kind of no right now but that's not going to stop me from trying for one and it's also not going to stop me from thinking about it or Just in general, trying to um, better myself, right? As well, it shouldn't. That's my opinion, at least. There was a fantastic post that one of the other casters made when they decided to finally release the news about Pench's passing, and it was beautiful and tragic for multiple reasons. And, um, 
I don't know, it kind of, it just got me thinking about ways to process grief, because they were talking about how their family talked about their best way of processing grief was putting it all down and writing it all out. All the things that they were thinking about and feeling. My current way of choice is somewhat similar. My current choice of ways is going to be somewhat similar in that I'm putting it all down and laying it all out inside of a inside of a YouTube video. Not quite the exact same as writing it down, but the ideas stand. Yeah, it's been real. It's been a real sad time, viewers. Truly. Um. Because of all that. It's been making it real hard for me to want to do much of anything. Trying to find ways to process what I'm feeling. Because that's a, it's a tough part of dealing with death, right? It's processing your emotions in a healthy way. I think most people struggle with that in some way, shape, or form. And that's completely fine. Not everyone's great at dealing with these feelings, right? Something that I'm thinking about more and more and, for lack of a better term, trying to take out of these people's passing is how to be more like them in a solid, healthy way. That makes sense. How to try and make people happy the way that Finch always did. How to try and influence people in a way that Kentaro did. I'm trying my best to say his name correctly. It's really difficult for me. I don't know why. I have a really hard time speaking it properly. But that's just me. And I really don't even know where to start, right? Like, who does? Who knows how and where to start with trying to better yourself? In ways like that. I certainly don't. Yeah, that's, that's what's been going on with me. That's what's been going through my head, and that's, uh, that's why I actually decided to make one of these this week, despite the fact that it's interrupting my new automata upload schedule. Which is just going to be delayed by a day because of this video. Which happens, and it will be totally fine. But yeah. Hmm, <laughs> it's been a very emotional week for me because of a combination of several things. But hey, that's life, right? Sometimes it just keeps slapping you in the face. <laughs> Just imagine a giant boot stomping on the face of humanity. What's that from? I don't actually remember. I'm pretty sure it's one of the uh, dystopian future styled books, but I could be wrong. It could be Big Brother from 1984. Could be something else entirely. I legitimately do not remember. Yeah, that's that's life for me at the moment. And yeah, you ever you ever get stuck not knowing what to say because you've already said everything you're planning on? Because that's where I'm at right now. I guess I could talk about my plans for the week, plans for the future. I guess at the moment, I'm just thinking about, okay, well, I'm uploading near in the future of the week, some YouTube stuff sorted out, I'm playing on my free-to-play account in my free time. So that, uh, I'm in the process of making a video for that about how it feels to play on a free-to-play account in current year for this game. And how bad the gacha rates feel, as well as how bad the uh, the AR grind get once you hit, gets once you hit 30. But we'll see how I uh, end up doing that. Let's 
So yeah, I'm probably gonna be a little less uh, less stream happy. I might not even stream tonight. Just take some time off because I'm still processing, and well, you can't really control the speed at which you process stuff, right? Like your your brain's gonna do what your brain's gonna do, all right? Whether you want to or not, it's going to go at its speed. So yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be it. Kind of a short one, but I didn't want to spend too long talking about this and break down on uh, quote unquote camera. I don't have my camera up during these, but oh, what are you? Do I? Oh goodness. Oh goodness, is this what I think it is? Is this does this give me as many free primo gems as I feel like it will? Let's find out. It did. Wow. I know, right in the middle of in the middle of a serious conversation here, I'm busy getting excited about primo gems, but that's life, right? You can't be sad forever. You can't always focus on the negatives, and it's okay for your mood to kind of bounce around as a result of that. At least that's my opinion. Everyone copes and deals in their own ways. Some make jokes. Some cry. Some completely become a reckless for weeks at a time. I lean towards that final option on occasion. Oh uh, yeah, I figured this series was a great place for me to uh, talk about what's been going on with me and why I might seem a little off lately. If I do seem off, I could seem totally normal to you. You could not know what's going on in the outside of my head. I could, uh, could very much be the case. You know what we're going to do to finish out this video? We're going to take a picture for the thumbnail. That's, that's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to go find the place to take the picture for the thumbnail, and I have a fantastic idea, because I never take pictures here. This is, this is how we're going to end this out this week, because it was a little shorter than normal anyways, and we're going <laughs> to we're going to chill it out, chill down the vibes to end this. And take away from the depressing nature of this video. We are going to take a picture from the top of Storm Terror's lair. I never do this. It's a beautiful place. Come on. Come on, Joe. Alright, hang on. Can I make this jump still? I'm pretty sure you can just make this jump as Zhao, which is very funny. Yep, you can. <laughs> I love Zhao. He's fantastic. Alright, where's the best view? Where's the city at? Ooh, we can take a picture with Dragon Spine in the background. Dragon Spine's gorgeous. And this is where we're gonna end off. And I'm gonna take my screenshots for <laughs> for my thumbnails. But thanks for watching and hanging out. Y'all are fantastic. I if you wanna leave a comment, feel free. If you don't wanna leave a comment, feel free. I'm kinda it's all up to you, my dear viewer. Either way, I appreciate you hanging out and watching, as always. Um, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, everybody. <laughs>